how do you go about introducing a new product in an industry like this? What has been your experience? And if you like, where have you seen the difference in introducing a new product in this industry compared to other ones? Irregardless of the, uh, the domain, with any new product or technology, introducing them is again based on the, the biggest problem that they're solving and who those people are that they're going after. It becomes your messaging. That's a big marketing component. So marketing, product, and engineering have to work very close for them to understand what is this problem, what is this solution, and how are we attacking it? And the biggest piece is, who's gonna be the buyer? So in order to do that, you have to find out who your buyers are. Is it a, a B2B, is it a business process that you're taking care of, or is it a complete consumer? Each one of those have different processes on how to reach that audience to be able to buy them. You know, there's, there's a phase that I go through, which is called reggae, recruit, enable, go to market, execute. So the recruitment piece is finding that right partner or the customer that maps up to your platform. The enablement is the technology you have that's viable for them. If it's a partner, the two technologies that you have and how they're intertwined and create a solution for this problem. The G is the go to market, right? So this is where product engineering, marketing, everybody gets together and figures out how to really articulate the messaging that you want to move to, to this next piece, which is the E, the execution, which is when you actually start selling. So you want to make sure your sales guys have all the right material, all the right ammunition to be able to take this and be able to explain the messaging right off the, you know, their cup. These are things that you have to continuously, it's just like fundraising. You have to continuously meet with people, give them their pitch, get back the results, right? What the feedback is and move to the next one. Once you have a combination of all these things, then you can put down your elevator pitch and start selling your stuff. The biggest problem, I'll start with that one, a lot of companies make is really understanding who they are and who they want to be when they grow up. Based on what they have, who are they selling to? Are they a B2B company or are they a B2C company? A lot of times companies make the mistake of picking the wrong one and going after that market and hiring and building around that market without really understanding what it means. So that's always a problem. So you end up going through cycles and cycles of spending money and the wrong people that you bring into the ecosystem. So that's, that's a problem, really understanding who you are. The approach that I've always taken, and it's been successful with the companies that I've worked with, is taking more of a channel approach, meaning that finding the right channel partner that can take your product or solution, possibly combining it with theirs and doing a sell to, sell through. So now what you've done is you're selling your product to the mass market without hiring a ton of sales reps, okay? So you establish a few of these distribution partnerships. They're selling your product. You have the logos. You gain the revenues without hiring a ton of people. Now you start to learn how your product actually does in the market. You start to learn how much and where you can sell these things in a mass market. Then you can start to pivot on who you need to hire and how the company will grow. 